Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your fan clutch is failing and it's time for replacement? The fan clutch is usually mounted directly on the uh, water pump and when the uh, fan clutch starts to fail, you're going to notice all sorts of symptoms. The first common sign that you know that a fan clutch is failing is going to be overheating. So basically the fan clutch engage when temperature is, is above around 170 to 180 degrees. When the fan clutch is not working properly, you're going to notice overheating, especially at low speed and at idle. And when the vehicle pick up speed, let's just say you're going faster than 50 miles per hour or so, you're going to notice the temperature dropping and the engine no longer overheating. Usually, this is going to be a case of a bad fan clutch. The next time that you know that your fan clutch is failing is going to be some sort of noise coming from the uh, engine area. If you hear a, a roaring noise or a very loud wind noise that sounds almost kind of like an industrial fan, that's going to be the fan clutch that is failing. To test for a bad fan clutch is really simple. First, you got to wait till the engine is cool or you could try testing the fan clutch in the morning. Next, what you want to do is with the engine off, you want to spin the uh, fan clutch. When you are turning the, uh, the fan uh, blade, there should be some sort of resistance. For example, if you turn the uh, fan blade and let's say it turns more than four to five times, there's a good chance that fan clutch is faulty. The next test is to start the engine and watch the, uh, the fan blade move. As the fan blade move, have somebody turn off the engine and keep an eye on that fan blade. When you turn off the engine, that fan blade should spin no more than one or one and a half time. If it just keeps on spinning and spinning when the engine is off, again, that fan clutch is faulty. Again, with the engine off, next, locate the fan clutch. So again, the fan clutch is located directly on the water pump. So what you want to do is, you want to rock the fan clutch back and forth. And if there is movement, again, that fan clutch is faulty. However, you need to make sure that the, when it's rocking, you want to make sure this nut over here on the fan clutch is stationary and is not moving. So you basically, you want to just keep an eye on the fan clutch. However, if you see this pulley moving too, that's not going to be the fan clutch. That's going to be this uh, the water pump bearing that is bad. Again, you want to make sure this nut is stationary and it's actually the fan clutch that is rocking. Again, if it's rocking, the fan clutch is bad. In addition, when checking the fan clutch, you want to make sure that it's not missing the fan blade or none of the fan blade is broken. Because if they are broken, obviously it's going to make some sort of noise. Moreover, you want to make sure that the serpentine belt is actually spinning the, uh, the pulley. If it's not spinning the pulley, then the fan clutch is not going to work. To replace the fan clutch is very simple. All you need is some sort of fan clutch tool. This is going to be for BMW. This is going to be a 32 millimeter. Or you could use a large adjustable wrench. Usually go up to about 36 millimeter or so for most fan clutches. And usually I use this for like Ford and Chevy. So basically when you're removing the, uh, the fan clutch, what do you want to do? There's going to be a big nut right here. You're going to put the adjustable wrench on it. And basically what you're going to do, you're just going to crack it either clockwise or counterclockwise to remove it. If you're going to use an adjustable wrench, you can just put on this like this and you can just use a, a hammer and just tap on it to break the nut loose. If you're going to use the adjustable wrench method, make sure you keep that serpentine belt on so this pulley can stay in place. That will make the job 10 times easier. As a matter of fact, if you add a little bit of lubricant on it such as PV Blaster W40 and let it soak for a bit, again, it's going to make your job a lot easier to remove it. You're probably thinking, which way should you turn the fan clutch tool? If you have a regular threaded a fan clutch, you're going to go counterclockwise to break it loose. And if it's reverse thread, you're going to go clockwise to break that nut loose. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.